Hi everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. <coughs> Sitting here in my fresh, neat, trim garden. Thank you, Chris, for the one to say publicly. I want to thank Chris. He has been such an awesome help this week. Um, Chris, by the way, doesn't get out much, so I like to have him out and help me. And we get along well. He's a great guy. We like to just hang out and visit. And then I take him out grocery shopping because his vehicle's not registered and he can't drive right now. So we help each other. That's, that's community. Community. Um, a lot of people mention the do-it-yourself world, do-it-yourself, but I don't do it myself. I do a lot of things myself, but people were not meant to be alone. Uh, we were meant to have community, and it's, it's a good feeling when people are helping each other. You, I help you, you help me, and uh, it's really good. So anyway, Chris really helped me. He brought that mower over and, and chopped this all down for me and cut the backyard out there for me. Um, but what I want to sit here and talk to you right now about something different. I want to talk to you about my fence projects. Obviously, I have my electric fence turned off right now, or I wouldn't be sitting here holding this comfortably and happily. This is a gate uh, thing. <laughs> I forgot the proper term, forgive me. It's spring-loaded, and what, how this works is this hooks over on the other side of your gate. So if you want to have an electric fence uh, opening and closing, and you don't have to really make anything elaborate, all you need is a, something to hook that on, a nail or whatever, continued on to the electric fence. Actually, they have um, adapters that you can buy, and then these just hook on into that. Now, the topic of today is my chicken fence and tick proofing my property. The, the idea of, I've studied a lot about ticks, I have a lot of problems with ticks here. Uh, ticks are extremely bad in this area, in upstate New York and especially in this particular area. I get a couple ticks on me every single day. Now, up by the house, I never pick up a tick and I'll explain why in a few minutes here. Uh, this video, I want to teach you about how to tick proof your home, okay? Or your, your yard or your meadow. Now, one thing, the first thing you got to do if you want to tick proof your home, and I'm working at it today, get rid of the tall grasses. Ticks love to sit on a, on a, on the tall grass where you walk. They can sense where you've been. I don't know how. Somebody must be laying in there. I don't know how, but ticks can sense where you've been. And they'll sit wherever on the path where you've last walked and wait for you to brush by. And there is a happy tick. Ticks will wait on things that you touch every day. And they're very patient. And they will wait for you. Very patiently wait for you. And as soon as you come along, well, he's a slow one today. There he goes. Oops, now he's going to look for a place to eat. Joy's jealous because I'm right next to her. I was just going to get her some fresh water. And uh, this was waiting for me. So I'm going to dispatch that. And, uh, whoops, focus. Yeah, they move pretty quick, actually. All right, I'm going to get rid of that. It's creeping me out. And they're quite amazing creatures. I hate them with a passion, but they're amazing in that... They have something walking on me as I'm talking to you. They're amazing in that they can hang there, and as you brush by, boom, they're on you that fast. I mean, think, you're not, you're not just casually strolling and crawling at a snail's pace. You're walking right on, boom, they're on you. And one benefit about ticks is that they take their time looking for a place to bite. So you usually have quite a few hours before, you, before a tick is, is in your skin. So to this date, I've never been bitten, although I find them on me every single day. I've never been bitten. Um, I have found them crawling all over my body, from head to toe, on my clothes and under my clothes and everywhere. I found them all over me. But this year, I'm tick-proofing my yard. And how I'm doing that is, first of all, cut everything short. You, if you cut everything short, then ticks don't have a place to 
to latch on to you. And I'll tell you, I have walked through this place round and round and round on short mowed down grass and never got a single tick on me in those areas. But if I ever go around where there's tall grasses on a path that I follow regularly, I go there twice, I'll have a tick on me. So keep your grass cut. Now why I never have ticks up by the house is there is no grass and it's there's nothing. It's all flat, uh, packed clay and gravel. Ticks don't they, they, they don't like, from what I've understood now, they don't like mulch and they don't like dry flat areas. Ticks overwinter in leaves. So right now, as you can see behind me, I'm putting all my leaves out in the garden and that'll keep, give them all around the perimeter. I'm getting it out from around the house and around the RV and all the leaves that have fallen last year, I'm getting all the leaves cleared up and I'm going to keep that maintained this year so that when winter comes and when the fall comes and the ticks start to go seeking their, their place to sleep, I want to have all the leaves gone so they have nowhere to go under. Now, that's another step. Giving them a uncomfortable area and taking away their preferred bedding, the, the leaves. They overwinter under leaves, so to get rid of the leaves, they don't have a place to overwinter. Put mulch or gravel around your homes, on your pathways, another bonus, you won't have ticks. Keep the grass mowed tight and short, and you'll have less tick problems. I won't say you won't have any, but it's less likely they'll be able to hitchhike onto you. I've never had them on me from walking on the mowed grass, only on the tall grasses and out in the, in the woods. And so that's important. The next step, the big project. I am completely eliminating ticks from the entire meadow for years to come. How is that? Same thing that's annoying me right now, these noisemakers here. Chickens eat ticks. I wouldn't have known it. I don't find any information on the internet and I had studied. Chickens love anything that moves. Great thing about ticks and chickens, it's mutually beneficial for me. Chickens are creatures of habit and they'll come and go through pretty much the same areas quite often. Ticks will hide out and wait for the chickens. Ticks will be drawn to the chickens. Chickens eat anything that moves. Hey, let it work, right? So that's just great. That's nature working for me. So I want to free range my chickens. Now I can tell you here in this garden, even with, I just, I just had grass three foot tall. I never had a tick in this garden ever to this day. Why? Because my chickens are running freely around the garden. Now they're, they're only on two sides of the garden, but yet all the ticks are drawn to the living animals. They want their blood. So they're drawn to the chickens. Chickens gobble them up. My garden is a tick-free zone. I know this from two years now. My garden has been a tick-free zone for two years now. So proof from the success, okay? I mean, the, the success of, its, of just having that no ticks in the garden shows me that it works. Now, the next step is I just put up uh, 1,300 feet of chicken wire around two and a half acres of my property. This is about an acre right here, the clearing, the meadow, and I just put up 1,300 feet around and into the woods on both sides and out. So take what I'm doing, take my garden, which is a tick free zone, okay? Has been a success. For two years, it's been a tick free zone. And I'm going to take this very same idea and make it bigger. So instead of my garden with chickens around it, it'll be my meadow, my entire acre meadow with chickens around that and free ranging into the woods on all sides. Ticks aren't going to have a chance to get into my meadow. No way. Another thing, chickens will eat rodents and chipmunks or any small things, frogs, snakes. Um, they'll eat anything they can get a hold of. And, uh, if, if they can catch it, they'll eat it. Chickens will eat pretty much anything that moves that's small enough and slow enough to, for them to get it. Uh, another benefit, so with the chickens ranging all the way around into the woods on both sides, I'm not going to have as many little critters running around. Another benefit, because ticks not only come in on deer, 
They come in on, oh, it's ants walking on me. Ticks come in on deer, chipmunks, um, squirrels, raccoons, possums, whatever. So any animal that gets in here is going to bring in ticks. So this is how I'm gonna protect my entire property from ticks, well, my entire meadow. Now, the problem is, chickens are the favorite food of the forest. So I've put up 1,300 feet of chicken wire all the way around, into the forest, all the way around, 150 feet out on all sides, extended out into the forest, 150 feet into the woods on all sides. Chickens will have a great time, but chickens are the favorite food of the forest. So now I have to protect the chickens. Electric fence. Two years in a row, I've had electric fence outside my chicken run, extending all the way. I've got three strands of chicken uh, of electric fence. One is about uh, three or four inches high. I don't know if you can see the stake behind me, if it shows up on camera or not. But you can see about three or four inches high is one strand of wire. Then just three inches above that is another strand. And then I've got another strand, which is about uh, nose high and a coyote. Now, if I wanted to, I'd have another one on the top, which would stop deer and bear, which is what I'm going to do out there. Well, here I only had three strands. In the forest, I'm probably going to have four strands to stop the bigger animals as well. And I am going to run the wire on the outside of the chicken fence, outside my entire meadow, all the way around the entire fence line. Chicken fence stops chickens from getting out, Electric fence stops animals from getting in. I keep seeing a lot of people on my comments saying that electric fence isn't going to stop a raccoon. Raccoons are smart. They're crafty. Well, I'll tell you what. Two years now, and my chickens have never been attacked by raccoons behind an electric fence. When my fence failed or was off, I lost chickens. As long as my fence was on and working, I've never lost a chicken. Uh, when I built a chicken tractor, I did not electrify it right away, and I lost chickens that very same week. So I know from experience that the electric fence works, okay? They actually sell electric fence for your gardens to protect your garden from raccoons. You can, you can get it at tractor supply. It's expensive, actually. It's about the same price as doing an entire field. But they sell electric fence kits to protect your garden from raccoons. Therefore, I have an electric fence that's going up to protect my chickens from raccoons. Same thing. It works. People don't believe me. I don't care what you believe. The fact is, it works. Since I put electric fence around my chicken tractor, the raccoons haven't bothered a thing. Raccoons started going after my chicken feed, metal bin. I put electric fence wire on it. No more trouble. Electric fence does stop raccoons. Now, raccoons carry ticks, deer carry ticks, all the small animals carry ticks. So I've got the deer fence up, I've got electric fence on the outside. I will no longer have any animals in my yard that I don't want in my yard. So I, I can't explain it any more clearly than that if I haven't. I'll probably do an article on this in the future to explain it in all detail uh, in writing because I think it's worthwhile how to tick-proof your, your yard, how to prevent ticks in your entire yard uh, completely. And like I said, it worked here for two years. I can go through here and I can run back and forth. Never had a tick in my garden ever to this day in two years. Not one tick in two years. Therefore, I know from experience, it works. The system I have works. The, 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 it's, the whole system works together. The chickens, the chicken fence, and the electric fence wire all work together to give me a chicken free, a tick free zone. And I'm just making it bigger. So I hope this helps somebody out there. I know there's a lot of doubters, but unless you've done it and it failed on you, uh, I, then it's all theoretical. This works. So, Troy from the do-it-yourself world, new off-grid project. See you guys later.